<laughs> oh my god, we don't have time to take any more selfies. What we got? We got Life vs. Oh, this Life vs. Pokelam! I totally forgot this was going to happen. Yeah, but I think we're going to be jumping into winning semis. And I'm actually really excited to see both of them play. I don't think I've had the pleasure um, of being able to watch uh, Life set at some point. And, and Pokelam, oh. obviously such a huge fan of his play. Mm -hmm. Nah, Pokemon has been uh, a treat to watch here at Encore. But to catch up to speed on what happened like said, I think it was uh, him versus Ling Ling earlier. Uh, he kind of steamrolled him in game one, but I don't think Ling Ling had the right controls. Game two was a lot more of a fight, but like still kind of just playing the, the Fox game of I run you over and you don't get to play. Oh, but right now Pokemon just keeping Light off stage for so long, still not fully taking into account how far Light uh, can dip into the stage. That's really going to be the name of the game for Pokemon who it's how quickly can I get Light off stage and how can I find these edge guards? Because exactly. Fox is super linear, uh, or can be, uh, getting back to stage. And another thing Pokemon has to do is find a way to get this Fox off him. It's like an itch you cannot scratch. Really hard to catch this. I don't want to say rat, because every character that you can't catch in the game, I just call him a rat. <laughs> I mean, Light's just doing a really good job of playing outside of Pokelam's immediate area of effect. So he's always standing at like really, really long distance, forcing him to whiff a couple of pellets, and then able to find a lot of his openings. Trying to find that Tomahawk is not going to be able to do so, and Light is just like threatening Pokelam so much with these jumps. I'm sorry, he wasn't able to punish that? Minus four, baby. Oh my goodness Minus gracious. four. <laughs> That's that's Village Ugas Flash Out Shield. It is incredibly funny. But Pokelam's gonna getting uh, gonna be getting the hit on the cross up, still not taking into account that Light has the double jump. Um, and and just tries to overcommit to an edge code. Well not ready for that forward off ledge at all. I feel like he wanted to hit him with the axe for him to like, you know, jump on stage, be aggressive. But Jesus, Pokemon not able to land much hits on Light. It's kinda like Light's playing his Bob and Weave game. Pokemon just being really patient, trying to get out of the corner. Light, I really like the distance that he's playing at. Tries to get the drill into up smash. Love the attempt. Is not going to be able to do so. All of the shield pressure and forcing an option out of Pokemon. That dash back after hitting the shield was so smart. That was he gross. <laughs> it was so good. Now Light, big comp? That looked like a big combo opportunity, but he drops right after the dash attack. It seems like Pokemon is really struggling to pin down Light. He's just doing a really good job of moving around a lot of the projectiles. Now he's close. That time, Obu committing, and Pokemon <laughs> finds the whip punish with that. Did a little happy dance, too. You know, finally we got one on the board. But now he has to do it two more times. And Light's not going to let him do that for free. Yeah, Light's ledge trapping so, so patient as well. He's just not yeah. pressing any button that's, like, particularly laggy. <laughs> he's always just in a ready position to be able to cover either a roll in or a neutral get up. Um, at once. His reactions are so solid. Yeah, except this one to be scared oh, of. Nice oh. tomahawk grab. That was, that was smooth, right? <laughs> that, was, that was clean. Smooth over here, and it's Fox Smash catching him. Trying to run away. Can't do that. Yeah. Huh? So, normally, like, you'd be able to, like, at least make it somewhat ambiguous if you're going through, like, revising for the gun shield. You could drift in, right? And, and you could uh, successfully cross them up, or you could try to drift out. Um... And that, in, in Pokelam's case, I don't know, Light was just so confident that he was going to try to cross him up that he just got that up smash. Confident in his pressure, confident in mm -hmm. all of his little conditioning, not really anywhere for Pokemon to really run away either. Oh, and now we've seen the Steve. Or Enderman, I should say. Three, two, one, yeah. Go! yeah, so Pokelam's been going this like all day today um, as well. It's how he got his win on Jen really? today as well. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see the difference between the two. I feel like in this kind of a matchup, where you have to rely on a lot of resource management, um, Fox is going to have to be much more of the aggressive group. While against Villager, we saw Light like playing really, really patiently at long distance and just waiting for a win pellet as that opportunity. So if I may say, I don't feel like, I mean, again, like you know, Steve is a strong character, but I feel like the way this Fox applies pressure is definitely going to be super oppressive on Steve. Like Steve wants to know. Once he expires most of his materials, he's not really gonna have a, like an easy time getting it back, yeah. unless he puts some kind of fear in Light, which I don't see anything ha at happening at any point today. Yeah, Light oh. is just not giving Pokelam the opportunity to be able to play back and get some resources. Light, <sighs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, Pokelam just pressing one too many buttons on a shield. But I believe he just needed that last jab um, to be able to do some things. But then, you know, the tool dissipated exactly when he needed it. Deep in the oh my oh goodness my. gracious, that takes the stock. That hitbox is huge. It's massive. I didn't. Think I, I didn't it should. I felt like it really should have hit that high nah, up. It definitely should not have. That is that is the DLC move. Fox, let's driving. Also looking like a DLC move. 
this like narrows in place and can't really do much. Well, it's like you don't want to risk going for like a get up attack though, right? Because surely you could try to whip punish neutral and reset uh, neutral. But if at that point light decides, hey, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna show up. I'm just gonna shield. You can't. You don't really have the time to be able to react to that always. So the risk versus reward, it's probably just best in your favor to get hit by that neutral over and over again than it would be to, you know, get hit by an up smash. And it goes like clockwork. <laughs> Oh goodness. Logan Lamb finding himself in the same position he was last game. Yeah. Oh my, what is this setup? Oh God! You know, Pokelam so confident with the charge, able to get the timing follow-up from the grab release of Minecraft. Pokelam finding the out-of-shield punish, and now putting Light into such a dangerous position. I don't know what he's setting up, but... Probably trying to set up like a roll or a get-up? Maybe, maybe that would have been a get-up. We know the hitbox is gigantic, but now Pokelam not oh really no. with many materials. Light, not giving him, Light better not give him a chance to mine. Yet not having Iron is so important to understanding, like, what can you actually exploit in this matchup? If a Steve doesn't have home Iron... Oh my god, that was brutal! When Steve doesn't have Iron, that's no side B's at a disadvantage. Nope. That's no landing mix up with Anvil. Nope. And, and you just saw, like, Pokelam just completely ran out of corner options. Light was just able to get in there to be able to pressure uh, with all of his buttons, and, and Pokelam just did not have the get off me options uh, that he needs to be able to escape that. No, not at all. And Oh my god, it's best out of five. Yeah. Okay, I forgot we're doing this out of my three. Can I just say that that up tilt to, to reverse back here was probably the dirtiest thing I've seen all day. It was clean. Yeah, no, the execution, like, the execution was just on point. I think no bots could do that like that. Especially from the angle he sent him at. Jesus Christ. Anyways, we're, we're back on the villager. Back on the villager. We're going to be going to Kalos. Much wider stage than what he had last time. So a lot more room for him to like play around, probably set up his space. Light. At least what he wants to do. Light has like such good recognition of the space that Pokelam actually threatens uh, when he is coming back onto the stage and when he is at the edge of the stage. I like the attempt to go through a time mix up though, just in case Light wants to go out there with the two frame. Um, wow, it seems like he's struggling. He's just actually struggling. He is struggling. Light is all over him and not giving you a chance to really do anything. Like you see, you feel like Villager when when, when you're away from Villager. Villager, that's the game he wants. He wants the away game. Light not he just closes the gap so quickly. Yep. And then throws him a disadvantage and it's just like you just gotta pick a god of prey at this point, man. Like no disrespect to Pokemon, he's an amazing player. But Light is just smothering every option he's picking. He's just really abusing the fact that he has superior movement options, that Pokelam just doesn't have villager as a character, doesn't have much to pressure shield, and doesn't have much to actually be able to consistently approach uh, from a long distance, especially when you're at such a deficit. I love, the, I love these weights from Pokelam, just so patient. Yeah, he doesn't want to find himself sitting on ledge for too long. A place where Light has gotten a lot of damage off. Like, Pokemon just not finding any of these hits because oh. Light is always at a distance. Where as soon as he sees that one butterfly Pokemon, that's a nail up smash, that's a drill up smash, that kill three sets. Or he's just sitting and chilling, playing so. Oh my god, that was bold. Cool. <laughs> you see Pokemon smiling too. <laughs> he knows what he did. He's like trying his best not to laugh. I'm sorry, but the Pokemon smile is probably one of my favorite things on stream. Every time he does something jank or random that he just knows, like, that shouldn't have worked, you just see a little smirk come out. I, I, no, that was the funniest thing. I, I, I love that. <laughs> Um, oh no. Fox hitting his own projectile combos. I, I also really love just how infrequent Light is using Reflector so that Pokemon really never gets a chance to pocket it back. He never sees it coming. Light's mix ups uh, when he is approached with a projectile. So, so good. He's so ambiguous. All those landing mix ups and through what? Another up tilt out of shield with just more and more damage. This is like landing away from Fox is definitely to play there, but Pokemon needs he needs a hit, he needs something. Nothing on the board but an up smash in your face and he's still alive. Oh okay. that, that was such a good bait for the lights here. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> At least he traded. Pokemon was able to get the stock. We got one, and that uh, might have been the most baller up, the ball, most baller back here I've seen all night. I, I, 